everybody loves to wear flip-flops, but especially ones you decorate yourself. Take a look at these. These are using just your basic ordinary flip-flop, but covering the straps with nylon cord to make them nice and comfy, and you can customize it with buttons that mean something to you. You can use other embellishments like flowers or stickers. You can also pick different colors of cord, and it's gonna be really fun to show people these flip-flops that you decorate. It's really easy. You start out with three and a half yards of nylon cord. Okay, and so the first thing that you do with your cord is wrap it around the toe strap right here. So you can see the flip-flops that I chose have the matching color strap. So I chose a different color of cord to, so that they'll be a little more vibrant and colorful. So you'll make sure that your cord ends are close to even before you get started knotting. And then crisscross the cords behind the strap. So it's nice that these are transparent because you can see that how that looks behind there. Then wrap your cord over the top of the strap and then bring this one over the first cord, under the strap, and through the loop. And I'll show you how that works in the opposite direction. So, so far this is a half knot. Now we're going to make a square knot. So to finish the square, you bring this opposite cord across, then this one comes down and up through the loop. And you keep making your knots to cover the whole strap. And one little tip is when you're doing this, just make sure that they are squeezing together on the strap. So if your knots are too loose, then you're going to have a lot of strap showing through. So just make more and then scrunch it together. Then make another knot and then bring it together again. Here we go. Bring this through and then see how it would look if I left it loose. So I like the way it looks when they're together. Also makes it a little softer on the bottom side of the strap. And this is nylon cording. Um, you could also use plastic lacing. You could use other types of cord. But this one has a nice um, dimensionality for the flip-flop because on the bottom side of the strap, it doesn't take up too much space. So I'm sure that these are still going to fit. If you used a really thick type of cording, then you just would want to make sure maybe that the strap is going to work with that type of cord. So on the other strap, to finish it, once you have all of your knots lined up, then bring your cords to the back side of the strap. And then we're just going to tie a little knot over here on the side, and it's going to be hidden when we lay the strap back down. So it's the same, same knot, right over left, then left over right and through. Pull it really, 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 really tight here, and then add some craft glue to the knot. Oops, and then you're going to let, set this aside and let it dry while you work on the other one. Okay, so once you're finished, then you'll trim the ends really close. You can see I let my ends, I trimmed them here at the knot. Now, here is how you add your button. So choose a button, this one has a shank. If you don't have a shank, it's the same process, and a shank is just this plastic little bit on the back. Other types of buttons like these have big holes in the center. Either type of button will work. So pass your cording through the button, and I put a little piece of adhesive tape on the end, and that's to make it easy to pass it through the button and also through the cords here at the center of the flip-flop. So what you'll do is string your cord under each side. This is the first knot on each side of the strap. So I'm, I have to use my fingers to pull this up and get it under this first knot on both sides of the strap. Okay, like that. So now you can tie your button right onto the center, but you also have to pass your cord through the other side. So here it is, one cord going through. Now this cord is going to go through as well. And then you're going to tie another square knot there. And this is just to keep it secure. And also the reason we don't tie this around the toe strap is because this can get uncomfortable. You know, everybody who wears flip-flops knows you have to get used to having that between your toes. So this keeps it all on the top side of the flop. So pull those cords tight like that and see how it's right in the center. Now I'm just going to tie one more square knot, my favorite, and then we'll do that on bo in both directions like that. And then you can also add your craft glue here and trim this close and you're ready to wear your soccer flip-flops. Now, if you wanna add some beads to the knots, you can do that too. You do the same knotting process but you and you have your same length of cord, but this time I put tape on both ends of my cord. And to get started, you make half knot, so it's right over the strap, then left under and through, 
Okay, now we're going to add some beads. And to figure out which cord to add your beads to, pretend that you're going to make your knot. So here it is. I'm going to go add my beads to this cord right here. So I'll add two blue, and these are going to glow in the dark. So bring this across, wrap this under, and then bring it through. This one is a little bit trickier because you have to use your thumb to hold the beads in place. Okay, so now I'm going to make another knot just to hold those on. So right, and then left, and then I'm going to lay my cord across so I can see what comes next. It's this one. So this one gets the beads this time. So I'll string my two beads. You could add any kind of beads or charms here. You could put your initial letters. You could spell your team. That would be fun. There are all kinds of ways that you can embellish the top of your flop. So then we'll bring this back through like that. And now see, I have two rows of beads. Now I need one more knot. So it's another square knot here. And if you've made those parachute cord bracelets, you're familiar with the square knot. So you've got this down. All right, so you keep knotting. And then when you get to the end, it's the same process here on the side. Bring your cord under the strap. Bring it right over left. And then left over right. Then you're going to add a little bit of glue and let it dry and trim your ends. Let's take a look at our finished flip-flops.